Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we have one very interesting and challenging question from log equations. It is log 56 minus x cube with base 20 minus x square equal to 3 by 2. And we are going to evaluate real solutions only. So let's get started by writing conditions on x. First condition which I can write 56 minus x cube. This should be always positive for real solutions. So let's write conclusion here x cube should be less than 56. Now second condition on x, base 20 minus x square, this cannot be equal to 0 and 1. So I can write from here x square should not be equal to 20 and 19 or I can write our answer should not be plus minus root 20 and plus minus root 19. Now I will write one log property which states that log A with base B if it is equal to C then any time we can write A equal to B power C. Let's use. So I will be writing here 56 minus x cube. This will be equal to 20 minus x square. Whole power will be 3 by 2. Let us consider substitution. Let me write here 56 minus x cube. This will be equal to 20 minus x square. Whole power is 3 over 2. Let us consider this bracket equal to suppose y square. So I can write 20 minus x square equal to y square or x square plus y square equal to 20. Let me call this is our equation number 1. Now what will happen after substitution? Let us write our equation also. So 56 minus x cube equal to this is y square whole power is 3 over 2. Now using property of exponents a power b whole power c we can write equal to a power b times c. So I can write this is equal to y cube which is 56 minus x cube or x cube plus y cube equal to 56. So now one system of equations we have, we have to find out x value only. So let us consider second equation first. I will write x cube plus y cube equal to 56. And our square equation is x square plus y square is equal to 20. Okay. Now I will use a cube plus b cube formula. So I can write x plus y. In other bracket, I will write x square plus y square minus xy equal to 56. Now x square plus y square is 20. So let us write here 20. So I will write x plus y times 20 minus xy equal to 56. Now I will write x plus y equal to a. Let x plus y equal to a and xy equal to b. So our equation, this equation will become x plus y is a. So I will write a times 20 minus b equal to 56. Okay, now I will consider x plus y equal to a equation, this one. 
let me consider squaring both sides. So x plus y whole square equal to a square. So I can write x square plus y square plus 2xy equal to a square. Now x square plus y square is 20. So 20 plus 2xy equal to a square. Now xy was b. So I better is to write here b. So I can write 20 plus 2b equal to a square. Now I will calculate value of b from here. Let me calculate. So I will write here 20 minus b equal to 56 over a or I can write b is equal to 20 minus 56 over a and I will apply here in this equation. So I will write 20 plus 2 times this much 20 minus 56 over a equal to a square. Let us write 20 plus 2 times. In bracket 20 minus 56 over a equal to it was this value a square. So I will write a square. So I will write 20 plus 40 minus 112 divided by a equal to a square. 60 minus 112 divided by a equal to a square x plus y cannot be 0, so I can write a cannot be 0 as per our equation 1 and 2. Now I will multiply both sides by a. So 60a minus 112 equal to a cube or I can write a cube minus 60a plus 112 equal to 0. This is one cubic equation. I will use method of factorization. So I can split 60a as a cube minus 4a minus 56a plus 112 equal to 0. So I can take a common from these two. So in bracket it would be a square minus 4 and from last two terms 56 is clearly common. So I can write in the bracket a minus 2 equal to 0. Now here I will be applying difference of 2 squares. So a times a plus 2, a minus 2, minus 56 times a minus 2 equal to 0. Now a minus 2 is overall common. So in bracket we will be having a times a plus 2. So a square plus 2a. And from here minus 56 equal to 0. Now factorization is done. Now I will put both the brackets 0. So I can write from here a minus 2 will be 0. First equation and second equation it would be a square plus 2a minus 56 equal to 0. So from this one I can write a should be equal to and from second equation if I will solve let's use quadratic formula so I will figure it out a equal to minus b so minus 2 plus minus square root of b square so 4 minus 4ac so plus 2 to 4 and divided by 2a so I will write 2 only minus 2 plus minus this is square root 2 to 8 divided by 2. Again I will be writing minus 2 plus minus 57 times 4 is 228. So let me write here 2 root 57 divided by 2 or I can write minus 1 plus minus root 57. Now if you will check the tentative value of or approx value of root 57, 7.55 it is approximately. So if I will consider plus sign, then it will become 
minus 1 plus 7.55 is 6.55 and minus 1 minus 7.55 it will become minus 8.55 now this was a if you remember that equation from b it was 20 minus 56 over a this was known so let us put one by one the value of a 6.55 and minus 8.55 here then i will be getting my b so let me write here b respectively so b value is coming out for 6.55 it is 11.46 and for a is equal to minus 8.55 it is 26.54 now a was x plus y b was x y so basically this is a equal to x plus y and b equal to x y let us frame two system whose sum of roots x plus y given whose product of roots known let us frame so i will write two systems x plus y equal to 6.55 with x y b value equal to 11.46 one system second system x plus y equal to negative 8.55 same time x y is equal to 26.54 if i will frame only equations i can demonstrate suppose i am framing in x x square minus sum of roots so minus 6.55 times x plus product of roots plus 11.46 equal to 0 you can see if i will consider a square of b then it is 30 42 basically minus 44 delta will be negative now come to the second equation i will frame in x x square minus sum of roots so it will become plus 8.55 x plus product of roots plus 26.54 equal to 0 and again if you will check discriminant b square minus 4 ac it will be negative value so once discriminant is negative complex solutions will generate so both the equations or system we will reject so which solution we are going to accept it is a equal to 2 let me write here a equal to 2 now b was let me write 20 minus 56 divided by a so let's calculate b b will be equal to 20 minus 56 divided by 2 or 20 minus 28 or negative 8 so a is 2 b is negative 8 now what was a it was x plus y so i will be writing here what was b it was x y so this is the only system left which will provide us real solutions x y equal to negative 8 again i will consider the same task let us write one quadratic equation whose roots are x and y where sum of roots product of roots no x square minus sum of roots to so minus 2x plus product of roots minus 8 equal to 0 now i can split our middle term as minus 4x plus 2x minus 8 equal to 0 from first two x is common so x minus 4 from last two 2 is common x minus 4 equal to 0 conclusion is x plus 2 times x minus 4 equal to 0 
सो x इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव टू एंड x इज इक्वल टू फोर नाउ वी हैव टू चेक विच सोल्यूशन वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सेप्ट एंड विच वन वी विल रिजेक्ट नाउ कंडीशन ऑन एक्स क्यूब वॉज इफ यू रिमेंबर एक्स क्यूब शुड बी लेस देन फिफ्टी सिक्स नाउ लेट मी राइट हेयर एक्स क्यूब इफ एक्स इज नेगेटिव टू एंड फोर देन एक्स क्यूब विल बी नेगेटिव एट एंड सिक्सटी फोर एंड कंडीशन ऑन एक्स क्यूब वॉज लेस देन फिफ्टी सिक्स सो ऑन दिस ग्राउंड आई विल रिजेक्ट दिस सोल्यूशन दैट मीन्स वी आर रिजेक्टिंग एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर so the only real solution which will satisfy our log equation it is x is equal to negative 2 and this will bring the end of this video i hope friends you will like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself bye bye